That's a feather, huh? Toy is made of plastic. You wanna tell me those toys can actually shoot? <laughs> I have to see it to believe it. Shoot! Wait! Don't aim at me. <laughs> Does this thing really load it? <laughs> Try it and find out, huh? Like it? Got it. Gorgeous. It must have cost you a fortune. Must you? It's our anniversary in one week. I wish we could celebrate it here. <laughs> Me too, but Paul has got to go back to school. I know. We had a wonderful summer. It's our first one together, isn't it? And now that you're out of the service, we'll never miss another summer, right? Never. Come here. Happy anniversary, baby. Sorry,
Inside, Marcy. Inside, please. Listen, guys, I don't know how you want to handle this, but there's a man over there with a the plastic gun.
Don't move. Inside. to me. It's not a toy, it's a real gun, so don't mess with me. Understand? Where's your microphone? The radio. Okay. Now you will radio the tower. You will tell them we blow up the plane if anyone approaches. The authorities must prepare to meet our demands. Now speak. Speak. In what has been described as the bloodiest ever hijacking of a U.S. plane and its passengers, an unidentified group of gunmen assaulted the Athens International Airport early this morning, killing 20 people and wounding scores more. The hijackers are holding a plane load of hostages. They demanded the release of the notorious international terrorist Jose Maria Carlos. Carlos, who is responsible for some of the worst terrorist attacks of the last decade, has been awaiting trial in the United States after he was apprehended in Guatemala last year by agents of the CIA. Repina Fascati? Can you see Elinas? I don't speak Greek. Oh, you the son of Brad Kartowski? Yeah, my name is Paul Kartowski. You can see your father now, son. Hey, Hiya, Dad. The doctor said you're gonna be okay. Where's your mom? She must be with the hostages. We have no information. Listen to me, Paul. We gotta be strong for each other now. And your mom, too. You understand me? Yes, Dad. Come, Paul. You have to go. Your father must get some rest. Can't I stay here and sleep in this chair? Do what the doctor says, Paul. Come on. Dad. Dad. He's all right. He fell asleep. It is natural in his condition. Paul, you have to go now. Come. We have run out of patience, mister. Tell your president, in one hour, we start to execute the American hostages. Every hour, one American goes to hell. Bastards. They got us by the balls, and they know it. But there's no way in hell we can let them turn this into a spectacle. What do you say, Mr. Ambassador? We have to give them what they demand, or we'll have a bloodbath on our hands. Ambassador Feeling, don't do that. We've got to play their game if we're going to save the passengers. We better let the Pentagon know what we're up against. I've got them on the line, sir. Archie, are they still on the line? Yes, sir. Mr. Ambassador? Fielding speaking. I'm afraid I have some bad news. They've threatened to execute the hostages. I don't know what to say. It's your call, sir. They win. The president has authorized the release of Carlos. He arrives in Athens tomorrow morning, escorted by a Captain Cody Brandt of the CIA. Cody Brandt? I know him. He's the guy that captured Carlos in Guatemala, isn't he? Oh, yeah. They should be landing any minute. This is American Air Force flight number 257. Request final clearance for landing. 257, final clearance affirmative. Let's go meet the bastard.
host. Enjoyable stay in your country, Captain. One regret. I didn't get to do more shopping. I love American clothes. That's all. Oh, Captain Brandt, why do you take it so personally? Remember I told you in Guatemala last year you're wasting your time? Remember I said I will not be in America very long? Shut up, Carlos, or I'll blow your fucking balls off. Oh, no. You will not blow my fucking balls off. What is this, a damn press party? Get the hell out of here! America is a country of law and order, and that makes policemen like you into helpless fools. Take me to the plane. It's an order. From the President of the United States of America. I told you to get the fuck out of here. I'm Ambassador Fielding. I presume yeah. you're Captain Cody Brandt. Yes, Ambassador. On behalf of the President of the United States, I deliver to you Jose Maria Carlos. The wonderful welcoming party, Ambassador. I thank you. I like it. The things are official, don't you, Captain? Got it. Carlos. Yes, Captain. I caught you once. I'll find you again. I thank you for the warning, Captain. You'll be seeing me soon. I'll be waiting for you. Soon. It's all yours, gentlemen. Let's proceed, Jones. Right, sir. Calling American International Flight 65. Can you hear me in there? Yes, gentlemen, we can hear you. So what news did you bring our man as promised? He just landed. We have him here now. You can talk to him. It is Jose Maria Carlos speaking. Yeah. Congratulations, you people have done a simply marvelous job. You can let the hostages go now. I am coming on board. We will release now the women and children, and only when we get to our next destination, we will release the rest. Listen, miss, whoever you are, you release all the hostages now. Listen, mister, whoever you are, this is not what we agreed to. Go watch the passengers. Go, go. You listen to me, American. This is our last offer. We'll give you the women and children for Carlos, gas, food, and an open air strip to fly to a country of our choice. Now the male hostages and the food will be released only when we reach our new destination, motherfucker! You have five minutes, man! Or we start with the execution. Jones, let's not stretch these people's nerves. They're desperate and unpredictable. Let me speak to them. Let me speak to them. Listen up there. This is Ambassador Fielding. I speak for the President of the United States. We're ready to start the exchange. Open your door, release all the female hostages and all the children. You can have your Mr. Carlos. Soldier, open the fence. You can go, Carlos. Brent, may I ask you a few questions about Juan Maria Carlos? So I ask. You were a captain in the SEALs commandos before joining the CIA. No comment. When the SEALs raided Guatemala, you headed the operation? No comment. You personally risked your life trying to capture Carlos, and now you're frustrated having to release him. Listen to me. This guy Carlos is the scum of the earth. The only thing he deserves is a bullet in the head. Son of a gun, Captain Cody Grant. You know this man, Dad? Yep. Yeah. He was my commander in the Navy SEALs. This is absolutely beautiful, Alia. <laughs> As you were today. I love you.
go check the hostages in the back. <laughs> Who is the woman, Valdez? She's the wild cat. Look how she beat me. Why are you sitting on the floor? Come, come. First class, sit with us. Please. Please! A woman with such unusual beauty and poise. Never, never, never bite. Time to celebrate, Valdez. And of course, you will have a drink with me. Why should I? Because I say so. My name is Jose Maria Carlos. What's yours? Go to hell. Wild cat. I told you. Oh, I'm going to love you, darling. Thank you very much. Yes. Hello, Brad. How are you? Good, good. Thanks, Mr. Ambassador. Those Greek surgeons did a great job patching me up. I really got to thank you for taking care of Paul the way you did. Sure, Paul is a brave boy, Brad. News on the hostages. They've landed in North Africa and released all the male passengers. Your wife was not on that flight. She was not released with the rest of the women at Athens Airport when we handed over Jose Maria Carlos. So where's mom? We don't know, son. Your mom is missing. But the president is doing everything he can through diplomatic channels. Obviously, he's not doing enough. My mother, Cousin Grotesque. Pleasure to meet you, man. Your son is a real hero. Kevin Johnson with the embassy. I have the tickets for you and Paul. Thank you very much. I'm not leaving, Dad. You're going home with your grandmother, Paul. What about you? I'm going to go find your mother and bring her home, too. Don't you think that's a good idea? There is. Brad Kurtowski. Captain Cody Grant. Can't imagine what you're doing in Greece, Captain. Well, I should have come to see you earlier. Couldn't work it out. No news on Marcy yet, I guess. You guessed right. Jose Maria Carlos. That son of a bitch is responsible for this, you know. You gonna try and get him back? Of course I am. Pentagon sanctioned covert operation, right? No. I'm out. Retired, same as you. I see. You know, Brad, I'm gonna need you. And I believe you'll need me. Did you enjoy the ceremony? Quite an extravagant party. Everybody who's, uh, anybody was there. The president is quite hospitable. He flew every guest in for the convention. You must give him credit. He is, I think, the cleverest politician in the world. The dress I bought you. Oh, it makes you look so sensual. I hope you like it. Look at me when I speak to you in this necklace. Where did you get this necklace from your boyfriend? Well, I think you do not want to make me jealous, so let's get rid of it. All right? right. <laughs> You're not drugged now. You answer me. What do you want me to say? Tell me that you hate me. Tell me that you hate me.
<laughs> please, please, please. Do not start that again. You make me hurt you, and yet you know that in the end you cannot stand up to my punishment, I beg you. Save yourself the pain. But cover your breasts. <laughs> I love you, Brad. <laughs> Come, let's go to bed. Come! <laughs> you still remember your Spanish, don't you? See, si, amigo. Look. You get the cab, I'm gonna get a paper, local paper. Welcome to Africa. You need taxi? I have a good taxi. Air condition, radio, everything. Brand new taxi, here. I know the city very well. I'm 40 years driver. It's very hot today, huh? But we have air condition, don't worry. What hotel are you going? Nosotros es Cubano. Cuba is in America, no? Cuba is in America Central, Latin America. Latin America, South America, North America, who cares? <laughs> America is America. You know this song, huh? I want to go in America. I want to go in America. I want to go in America. <laughs> Can, can you pay in dollars? I mean, green dollars. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you want a tour of the city? You never find better guy than me. I know this city better than our president. When you need me, I'm here. Ask for Baruti. Do you have reservations for Rodriguez and Alvaros? You are lucky to get anything at all, gentlemen. We are fully booked with this convention. It's OK. We'll take whatever you have. Holy shit. What is it? That guy. That's the son of a bitch who grabbed Marcy. Antonio Valdez. He's the leader of the terrorist group that hijacked the plane. What do you think the girl is? The day I came from Florida to Athens with Carlos, she came out on a ramp and they released the hostages. You know, Captain, sometimes you fall in shit. We just landed and we already found them. We'll deal with them after we have some weapons. Gracias. Thank you, sir. It's just too stinking hot in this country for a shirt and tie. No wonder everybody's running around in bed sheets. Hey, Coy. You think the women wear underwear under those things? Shit. The place is crawling with security. I'm gonna call Italy. We've got a friend at the naval base in Palermo. Captain Steve Burns? <laughs> I ain't seen him since SEALs training. He's vice admiral now. He's in charge of all naval operations in the Mediterranean. We might just cut loose with some weapons and transportation. Speaking of which, why don't you go rent us a car? I'll be right back.
like to rent a car. Any, any size will do, okay? Uh, sorry, sir. We are out of cars. We are sold out. Perhaps you can try in town. The marina. Hey, you see that black car that just left? Yeah. Let's follow it. Yeah, I like it. Like in the cinema. <laughs> John Wayne, Charles Bronson, Jack Norris. Viva la ninja! Get me Patrick. Patrick speaking. You see that taxi following us? I see it. Get him on my back. And no guns or shooting. We don't need an incident now, huh? I'll be waiting for your report in the marina. I'll take care of it. Let's go. We gotta go. Who are they? Some friends of mine. Just don't lose them. Come on. What makes you think they're down at this marina? I've seen that black car many times in this area. They call it the Forbidden Beach. Only the president's friends are allowed here. From here, they take a boat to the island. What island? The president's private island. Very secure area. Many people who went to swim on this forbidden shore never came back. It's like the sea swallowed them. Come, mister. Let's go back to town. No, wait. You wait for me here. I want to go down and check this out. No, 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 no. We go together. You know, my father said to me before he passed away to heaven, you only die one time.
the fuck? We've been uh, expecting you. Water. Speak up! I told you, I don't know who this man is. I just a driver, a taxi driver. Soy un turista de Cuba. Mi pasaporte en la hotel. Oh, shut up! Shut the fuck up! I know we could have been a sewer, huh? I have a strange feeling. I've met you somewhere. Don't so speak up. You are American. We have our intelligence. We know every face of your CIA. So there's no use lying! Take a picture. What shall we do with this one? He won't speak. He's already half dead. Half dead, huh? Who is our guest, and what do you know about him? I think I met him somewhere. I can't place where. He followed Valdez to the marina. He's an American. Yes, he's an American spy, I'm sure. I took his photos, and soon we can find out who he is from our contact in America. What is his name? Alvaros. So he says, anyway. He's from Cuba. He's from Cuba, the kind from China. Ow! <laughs> oh, God, Brad. We could discover who he is quite fast, Alia. Go to my office, use the facts, and if he is who I think he is, we'll be expecting a visit from my good CIA friend, Captain Cody Grant. <laughs> Soon. Take him to the uh, cellar. A certain driver. It's a little fella with a mustache and gray hair. I know. It's Gabby Barudi. You know him. We all know Gabby Barudi. I think he took my friend on a tour of the city. I'm a little worried because he hasn't shown up since this morning. I'm afraid I have uh, bad news for you, mister. The police just found Barudi's car abandoned on the Forbidden Beach near the marina. How would you know this? The police called our center to identify the owner of the taxi. Take me there. The Forbidden Beach? Good for pizza. Uh, that area is uh, out of bounds. Every other night, they find bodies that they see washed ashore. Come.
Please leave me alone. I'm not finished, Adrian. I can't. I feel so sick. Well, you must finish your drink. Please, please don't hurt me. I love you, Brett, so much. Have I ever told you how much I love you, Brett? Down, Marcy. I won't hurt you, I promise. I promise, please. Get down. Get out! Get out! I would do anything for you. All you have to do, Marcy, is accept me. <laughs> get out! Please do not misunderstand me, Marcy. Any attempt to leave this island will result in your death, and I cannot stand that. This is the Forbidden Beach. Down there is the President's private marina. Nobody but close friends and family are allowed there. Out there, in the sea, about 10 miles, is the President's private island. At night, you can see the lights blinking. It's the President's uh, retreat. Shall we go back to town? It's very dangerous out here. And bad luck, too. This beach has taken many lives. Be careful, mister. Something very interesting just came. Read it aloud, Dahlia. Everybody, pay attention. That includes you, Mr. Avalos. Should I say, Mr. Kartowski? Brad Kartowski, wounded in Athens airport when American International Flight 65 was hijacked. His wife, Mercy Kartowski, disappeared. She must have been kidnapped by the terrorists. His wife. I knew it was you. How come I didn't recognize you, huh? Well, 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 well. What do we have here? A true American hero is paying us a visit. Come on! Sightseeing, Mr. Kadowski. How interesting. Why did you choose this country? Searching for something very dear. Perhaps, Mr. Kadowski. Speak up. Speak up, you fucking American. Burn up! He has become a very valued guest we shall use here to squeeze the soft American president.
I know his type. He won't talk. You can torture him to death. He won't speak. I say we should kill him right now. I say we kill him and send his body to the American president. I say we send something else to the American president. What? A little Hollywood movie. Allow me to present our female star in American Victim. Action. <laughs> our beautiful little film will not perhaps bring us an Oscar, but it will bring us an emissary from the American president. I bet none other than one very special son of a bitch. Take my boat and my film and go ashore. To the mainland? Cross the border by sea. Go to the first country that has an American embassy, and then you just give them my beautiful film. You will give it to them with a letter, which I shall compose now. Letter will be to the President of the United States of America. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the rest. Marcy! Marcy! 
my safe! Damn it. Not to worry. She's drugged out. She can't get off the island. But there's alert to port. either. It's good to have you on my team, baby. Damn it. The garden's all lit up out there. The place is swarming with guards, surveillance cameras, and every other type of security gadget you can think of. Give me a minute. Let me think. Valdez, call Abdu. Tell him to get the boat ready. Brad, there's four of them. What are you going to do? I can 
handle this, Mars. generator. We need the elevator. Oh, and uh, Nick. Never mind. This wire attached to the tower. Yeah. Take your rifle, hook it over the wire. You hold on with both hands and don't let go until you hit the ground. You understand? Yeah, I think so. Okay, do it. Okay. What do I do now? Jump and slide. It's called the Omega Slide. It's easy. You can do it. You ready? Fun. Can we do it again? Great. I got a seal for a wife. Art, art, art. Come on. Come on. Up you go. Go ahead. something out, Marcy. Brad. What? I can't dive. I know. I can't swim. I know, Marcy. I'm terrified of water. Don't you have any good news, baby? Damn it! No, no. You do it now. I will take you to the port. Yes. The American escaped. Marcy, have you seen Marcy? No. She must be with him. The American is gone. Ah, shit. I say we should sound the alarm. No, no. Just happened. Probably still in the house. Certainly still on the island. They need a boat. No lights. They must not know we are on red alert. him alive. Nobody fires a shot. Captain Kartowski, listen to me. I don't want to kill you. Surrender. Come back to your country alive. I need you, Captain Kartowski, to trade for my men who are hostages. You understand? I've made a message to the President of the United States. Lay down your arms. Brad, what are you doing? 
Don't believe him. He'll kill you. What about you, Marcy, huh? He's not gonna hurt me. He's in love with me. He wants me as his wife. Stay alive, baby. I'll be back. <laughs> I need him alive. He can't get far. Abdul, you go get the girl out of the boat, and then you hunt for the American, but you do not kill him. Let me come tell my. Valdez, you and Patrick, you go take her to the house, but do not say a word about this to anybody. I need the Americans to think that we still have him alive. Patrick, Dalia, you give my film to the U.S. ambassador. You tell him. To transmit it immediately to Washington, or I will hold him personally responsible. Don't worry, Carlos. It will be on the ambassador's desk before noon tomorrow. I know that. I trust you. So good luck and have a safe journey. Here is your passport, Mr. Rodriguez. And here is Mr. Alvaro's passport. I hope you had a nice stay with us. Very nice, thank you. My friend is out jogging. He'll pick up his passport later. His plane doesn't leave until this evening. Okay. Go to the American Navy base. <laughs> Captain Cody Grant, see the Vice Admiral. Go right in, Captain. He's expecting you. Thank you. I hope you had a pleasant stay, Mr. Alvaros. I did. I'll be back. Of course we have them. But I can't let you use them. Not without the Pentagon authorizing it. I only need two or three. Maybe a half dozen men. The SDB mini subs are still considered a secret weapon. This is a secret operation. It's a covert operation in another country. Cody, you'll be breaking every international law. No, I'm sorry. What about Brad? He's a friend of yours as well as mine. Don't forget he's a SEAL. We're all SEALs. Steve, we're letting these assholes shit all over us, and we're doing nothing about it. Don't you think I hate it, too? I wish I could help you. Jesus Christ, Brad was my buddy. We were together for years. All I know is that if she was on the other foot, he'd be there for you.
Yes. Vice Admiral Steve Burns. Who is it? Who's speaking? Todd, I don't believe it. Brad? For Christ's sake, where are you? What? Brad, you son of a gun. Uh, Cody. Hey, how are you, man? Hey, Carlos, a little visit. I'll tell you about it later. Sir, it just arrived from the Pentagon. Thanks. Security has already decoded it. Yes, sir. So you're going to tell us about it, or is this uh, need to know? No more secrets. And anyway, it's about you. It's an order direct from the president. I could have prepared it. COVID operation as soon as I can use my seals, the SDV mini subs, go in and get you out. Well, now we've really got something to drink about. It's done, it's successful, and you're free. Shit. What's the matter? Isn't that what you wanted? Isn't that what you came to me for? Hell no. Carlos is still alive and he's got Brad's wife. I thought all you wanted was for, for Brad to be alive. There's nothing in there about Marcy. Sorry. Does anything about Marcy or about Carlos? The president got a letter and some film showing Brad being tortured. Now they're all waiting at the Pentagon for this call, expecting to get the operational plan from me before they give their final approval. I need a drink. I think we all do. Yeah, well, you can drink alone now. Don't forget I was here. I'm going back. Back? Yeah, I'm going back to get my wife. How? I'll swim if I have to. I came here looking for help from a fellow SEAL, and I'll find some Pentagon big shot who's forgotten what it is to be a SEAL and bend the rules. Yeah, I'm going back. You're not going alone. Are you both out of your minds? I can't let you do this. You're not giving the orders anymore, Admiral. We're not in the Navy. Admiral, you've got your orders. A covert operation sanctioned by the Pentagon. It's right there. But you're here. No, he's not. He didn't come here and you didn't see him. It's just you and me. Now let's go get your mini subs and your boys and finish this job. Admiral, remember how we fucked up Iran and Guatemala? You were at the Bay of Pigs? We're SEALs. We don't do things by the book. We do it because it's right. Now, Carlos has these plastic toy guns that get through the metal detectors at airports. It won't be long before he waltzes right into the White House. Come on, Steve. Don't you think America wants Carlos in the States so he can stand trial? I guess you're right. After all, we are SEALs. Approaching the island.
What's going on? Look, Captain, look. These bubbles come from fish. You stupid. Abel. No, no, I'm a fisherman, Captain. I know bubbles that come from fish. These bubbles don't come from fish, they come from men. I mean, somebody is playing with our net. Okay, I'll blow up a couple mines. Let's see what happens. Yalla. You should get some sleep. You wait for him, don't you? You are like a stubborn child. Teams are inside the port. It's getting late. Proceed. All teams proceed. They fetched the villa walls. It's 0250, one hour to dawn. 0250. Hurry up, guys. One hour to dawn.
clear. Elevator's got backup generator. Let's rock. What the hell's wrong with him? Is he gone crazy? Wouldn't let us sleep. Carlos? He is back. I bet he's not alone. He was in the seals. This is the American commandos, no? Yeah. yeah. Maybe he brought us some music with him. Good. Then I will teach him a lesson. Quiet now. The guards are so tense they shoot sharks and think it's enemy boats at Lawa Afubarra. No. Somebody played with the electricity. Get me Captain Abdul on the phone. I'll be trying. There is no answer. I think we are cut off. Well, send some men and get me a report. Yes, sir. And Valdez, you stay here. Someone has to get in touch with the mainland. The president must be informed. Alia, you go upstairs and you watch the girl, but you have my permission to kill her if she tries to escape. Check the fuse box. Dead. She was a beautiful girl. Yeah. What's going on, Fisherman? Why did you call for me again? Something strange is happening at the bottom of the sea, Captain. I don't see any bubbles. Not the bubble, it's the fish. They are nervous. They're coming up to surface. The fish are nervous, Captain. The fish are nervous. They are nervous, I'm telling you. I'm a fisherman. Okay, I know fish. Fisherman. I know. I trust your nose. You do? Let's blow up another two mines. Came from the port. The Americans. They're everywhere. We must contact the mainland. No way. The phones are down. Commander, explain it to me. What happened here? I've been sending sonar signals at our SDVs, and they stopped responding. Meaning? Meaning our mini-subs 2, 3, and 4 have disappeared. They must have been located and blown out of the water. Cover us. I go in. Oh, fuck! They fucking everyone. The more, the better.
kept you alive. Yeah. He hasn't touched me since he left. Brad. Brad, he's been waiting for you. I knew you'd come back. Yeah, well, he was right about that. What is this shit? What, is he some kind of kinky lunatic? Bastards up here. Where did you keep the key, babe? I'm gonna chain him around his neck. I guess I'm gonna have to wring his neck, huh? Come here, you. Oh! Check the office. Sorry. I'm out of coins. I had to improvise. Was he here? Was anybody here? Patrick has fixed the lights. He thought that it was all finished between you and I. I told you. Not so easy to fool Carlos. Come up here now. you just let me go and I'll see to it that they leave you alone. You would do this? Where is your husband? He was here. Right? Right. 
Now put your bloody hands in the air. Don't! I'll blow your head off, Carlos. With the bazooka. Kill me. Let you kill her. You won't have to. If you move, you kill her, you understand me? Even if you shoot me, her throat is slit. You're dead no matter how it goes down, Carlos. You either come with me or you die here. You're not getting out of here, Carlos. You raped my wife. She fucked you. She's just another cocksucking whore, and I couldn't give a rat's ass about her anymore. What's the life of one whore compared to all those innocent people you'd kill? Then kill us. I said, kill us. What move? And she's dead. Marcy! <laughs> Oh, I see. Let me see. Oh, you're okay, baby. It's just a scratch. Just a scratch. Yeah. yeah it's okay. Get up, get up, get up. That's it. That's it. Here, hold it. Hold it, both hands. Good job, Cody. Thanks. Let me see. There we go. You were really gonna do it, weren't you? You were gonna kill us both with that bloody thing. Baby, I'm a Navy SEAL. I don't take chances. Jesus. Who did I marry? You married a man who loves you, doll. I love you too, sweetie. Thanks for coming back for me. <laughs> It's already dawn. Well, where's the SDVs calling? Command's calling Team A. Command's calling Team A. Come in, Team A. Yes, Command. This is A-Team. We reach you. Sir, we have contact. What the hell's the delay? What's the delay, Team A? Dawn just broke. We're out of the building. And we're about to rendezvous with mini-subs. Abandon the mini-subs. We have good reason to believe that the enemy has located the SDVs. Just get a boat and get the hell out of there. Shit. Looks like it's a negative on the mini subs. There's a lot of boats down the harbor, Cody. Let's go. Let's go get one. Pentagon, sir. Vice Admiral Byrne speaking. All right, we got Pentagon approval. Get Cody on. Calling all teams. Calling all teams. Cody, come in. Come in. We read you. Cody, we got approval. Blow up the villa and the port. Do they know we're gonna blow that island all to hell? You got approval. Why ask questions? Go ahead and do it. You know the code. And use your wrist communicators to ignite the explosives. You heard them. All right. Here we go.
Hey, what the hell is that? We're out of gas. No problem, sir. They're on an enemy boat, and they seem to be having trouble. What now? What kind of trouble? They ran out of gas. Jesus Christ. After all they've been through, now they're out of gas? Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. OK, OK, <laughs> let's call for the submarine to pick them up. But surface in enemy territorial waters? Isn't that against international law? Well, it's not the first time, and it sure as hell won't be the last. Get on the wire. He's a ride home. Come on, let's go. Go where? Overboard. We're going for a swim. Marcy can't swim. That's your problem. Thanks a lot. Come on, let's go. Move it. Come on, baby. I'm not jumping. You don't have to. Come on. You know, Marcy, when we get home, we're gonna get in that pool and we're not getting out until you've learned how to swim. I love you. Hey, you two. Knock it off. Let's wait till we get to dry land for that. Shut up. Hey, 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 hey. Echo through these waters. As soon as I set foot on the soil that I love. It's so good to be where the flag flies proud. Where the innocence of you is running wild. I'm